got a really lovely Japanese comfort food for you today, a yakadon, which is a type of donburi bowl, but it sort of translates as mother and child rice, which is why we're using chicken and egg. So the first step to doing this is to create a really delicious seasoning base, which we're going to use as a bit of a stock to do our cooking in and then to season at the end. So I've got our homemade dashi, which you can find a recipe for on our website. And then we've got some ponzu, some mirin, some cooking sake, and some tamari or Japanese soy sauce. So all of that together is quite a delicious seasoning base, or as I said, we're going to use it to cook our ingredients in as well. So it's a bit of a stock, but each of those elements is flavor upon flavor upon flavor. And it's good enough to eat raw like that. So we're going to use it to season our rice as desired at the end as well. So I'm gonna pop that aside. I'm going to very briefly saute our onions. So if you're going to make this a single serve, you could actually use a fry pan that is sort of very similar diameter to your bowl and then you can just slide your, your oyakodon on top of your rice like that. We're gonna do two serves today, so I'll just very gently break it up. So I'm just gonna soften our onions. So I just wanna give them a little bit of a head start before I put our seasoning in. So my onions have just started to soften. I don't want any caramelization on them. They're starting to collapse. They're going a little bit translucent. So I'm going to add a half to two thirds of our seasoning and I'm gonna reduce the, reduce the heat to a minimum. And then I'm going to add our chicken pieces. So I'm gonna cook them on one side, flip them over, put the lid on, give them sort of two to four minutes until I can see that the chicken is cooked. And then we'll add our egg. I'm quite happy that our chicken has cooked through now. It's just on a very gentle simmer. And we've just beaten our eggs. So I'm gonna pour them from the center into the center and then all the way out into all of the gaps. So we just want those sort of ribbons of egg just to set. I actually don't mind if there's a little bit of jiggle still when we serve it over our rice. So while that is cooking, I'm just gonna plate up our rice. So as I said, we can use our seasoning as a cooking method, as well as a, as a more traditional seasoning towards the end. So I'm gonna pop that in there. I'm gonna to toss through a little bit of our delicious seasoning. So we've got all of those flavors in two layers and depths. So just fluffing up your rice as well. You can see how quick this recipe is. So in terms of it being a comfort food, you can get comfy very quickly. <laughs> Alrighty. So as you can see, we've got still a nice little jiggle on our egg there, but it's definitely all set. So we can serve that up. So we've got two to three servings here. So we wanna just cover all of your rice. And then the rest of our seasoning. So we've got some finely sliced spring onion there. Nice bit of green and freshness. Our Togarashi chili flakes, as much or as little as you like, depending on your heat tolerance and then our homemade pickled ginger. The recipe for that one is on our website. So you certainly can use store-bought if you like, but if you like to know what's going into your condiments and have a bit of fun. So I'll pop that on the side there. And there is our homemade oyakodon. Give it a go.